Peeps, it's Natasha coming at you with another video. So today's video is going to be a new weekly segment um, for you guys. And I was trying to think about something because um, I just had my first full week back to work. Um, I do work full time um, and then uh, you know, the little ones being daycare and being busy right all over the road. So I do um, still really want to stay committed to my channels and I love doing my YouTube videos and I love experimenting with makeup. I love doing all that kind of stuff. So I was trying to think about, okay, now I don't have as much time at home. Um, how is that going to change? And part of that was that I was thinking, well, actually, I'm really going to have a good opportunity to really try makeup out because I get up in the morning around quarter after four. Um, and by the time I'm washing my makeup off, it's around 8 p.m. at night. So I'm giving the makeup a run for its money. Um, and then I'm, you know, obviously touching up and checking in through various points of the day, like my lunch and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually having a really good opportunity because I wear makeup every day to work. Um, so I'm actually wearing makeup more now um, than I was when I was just staying at home with the kids. So that's when I thought of doing like a weekly favorite. And I've seen people do the um, Friday favorites and flops and that kind of stuff, or like the hot or nots and all that kind. So I thought, um, what if I did a Monday must-haves and misses where, um, you know, you get to hear about my previous week, everything that I was reaching for on a regular basis, new things that I tried and absolutely loved, things that might not necessarily make it to a monthly favorites, but that in this particular week I was reaching for all the time or was picking over something else or tried out and wasn't impressed with or whatever the case may be. So I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to do something like that. So let's try it out and do a Monday must have, misses, and probably sometimes some like mess. So I'm like, mm, not really sure if it about you. <clears throat> and then just a really quick update on my hair. It is like all kinds of patchy fading in the weirdest way. So I don't think I'm quite ready to throw in the towel and go back to dark brown, but I don't know that this is working. And, and I'm just saying that because I work 40 hours a week, plus my commute, so about 10 hours out of my day I'm either working or on the car, traveling, plus my time to get the kids ready in the morning. Plus, 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 plus. So my days off are pretty packed. When I get home from work, it's pretty crazy. I really just don't have, I'm, I'm, I don't have the time to invest in high maintenance hair, basically. So I knew when I was doing this that it would be more high maintenance than just my regular hair color. But I thought that I'd be able to get away with dyeing my hair maybe once a month, or, you know, random touch-ups. You know, once a month having dyed my hair, you know, um, every eight weeks maybe doing a bleach, like touching up my roots and then a re-dye, that kind of thing. So that was my expectation going into it. Well, I'm like a week and a half in and I've got like patches of blonde that are showing through. I've got different color purples that are fading. Like it's just, it's not really working at this point. So. I don't want to, I'm not necessarily saying, I don't think I'm ready to go back to dark brown, but I don't really know where I'm going to go with it, if that makes sense. I'm not really, like right now, it's not looking very professional. It's kind of patchy and all over the place. So I think what I might have to do is either um, get a product that pulls color out and try and pull out whatever I've put on here at this point, or just do a bleach wash and try and take all the color out and then go and try and figure out a color that I'm gonna be happy with that's a little bit different than like an outside of the box something so I don't feel like I've given up. Um, but that, um, I won't have to touch up like once a week, you know? You feel me? So if you have any suggestions for hair colors for me, like I'm thinking maybe even like a light golden brown or maybe a strawberry blonde or I don't know. Or if you have recommendation for like a box hair dye that's more permanent than like the washout semi-permanents, that's a funky color that you can think of, leave it for me in the comment section below. Um, it, it might end up being one of those situations where I go to the store and I look at the wall and I pick. 
but definitely where I'm at right now is not working. And I mean, I definitely work in an environment where I don't have to have perfect hair, or, but I, I definitely don't like that my hair. And if I don't like that, that my hair is like patchy and like, it's just not even fading nice, you know what I mean? So it's just, <sighs> I don't know. So if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd be happy to hear from you. And you might just have a video pop up one day of me and I'm a blonde or a redhead or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this is like the longest intro ever. So let's get on to my Monday must have in Mrs. So that's what we are here. So speaking about high maintenance hair, one thing that I've been using quite a lot is my dry shampoo. Um, I picked this up a little while ago. Um, so I got the Coconut and Exotic Tropical Batiste hair shampoo, dry shampoo. The one thing is though that this leaves crazy white cast. Like, it, I might as well be like putting baby powder in my hair. So. Um, but what I do is I put this on at night before I go to bed. So I'll wash my face, I'll do my whole face routine, and then I put this on, um, and then it just kind of soaks into my hair overnight, and when I wake up, there's, it's not there, but I don't, I also don't have greasy roots. So that's what I've been doing with that. So I guess we can kind of go in some sort of an organized order, organized order, something. So one thing that, um... Skincare. I mentioned before that my skin's been kind of like dry and all over the place and I don't really know what to do with it and my makeup's not sitting right and nothing seems to want to work and nothing's behaving. So I've been really trying to hydrate and moisturize my skin and really take care of it. So um, one thing I got recently uh, was from Julep and this is their What Your Skin Needs or sort of facial milk. And this little guy is amazing. It's incredible how little you actually need. When it says one or two drops, like I definitely use the two drops. Um, but it's amazing how it just glides on, a little goes the longest way, and it really just, your your face just really drinks it up. Um, I've been loving this, and loving how little you need, uh, and that it is an oil base, but your skin, it doesn't feel oily, it just feels, uh, like dewy and healthy, and it's really, really nice, so, I've been really enjoying that. Another item from Julep that I have been all about is this um, night shift sleeping mask. And it's with their Power Cell uh, Complex. So you put this either on your skin alone or on top of your night cream. Um, or like your serum. And you put a thin layer over top. A little goes a long way with this as well. And um, I was really surprised. I was like, well, how much can a night mask make a difference? And I woke up feeling like my skin was plump. Like it was like, um, almost like a sheet mask would do for you. But like you put this on and you go to sleep, right? Like I just felt like rehydrated and my skin just looked and felt like plump and hydrated and, um, just like really, really healthy looking, you know? And there wasn't like a lot of like a residue over left over. Um... Like I really didn't notice anything left on my skin. My skin just really took it all in, which was really, really nice. Another skincare item. Um, getting up at 4.15, I'm a little puffy, my face. So I've been using uh, this item from Sephora, the Instant Deep Puffing Roll-On Gel. So it's one of those things where it has the different roller balls on the end and you squeeze a little bit of the gel out and you massage it under your eyes. Um, and at first I was a little skeptical, but I really do notice a difference after I put it on one eye. Because um, at first I was like, I, I couldn't tell the difference and I wasn't really noticing. And then so I was like, okay, you know what, I'll do it under one eye and I'll wait a little bit and see if there, I find a difference. And I saw a difference for sure. Like not, like it doesn't take all the puff away, it doesn't, but it definitely, um, I mean it feels quite nice, the cooling effect and everything. I just feel that it helps me wake up and um, really gets that puffy face kind of under control. Um, another kind of like skincare item that I've been loving is from Pharmacy. It's one of their lip blooms I've talked about in previous uh, previous review. And this is the one, it's Lavender Mint. And you can tell I've been diving into it because I don't know if you can see the divot I've left in that bad boy. But I reach for this quite regularly. Um, 
after <laughs> what's, what's bad about this is that now that I've gotten used to using this, when I go to use a lip balm like EOS or something else, I find that it feels really, really waxy. And I don't like the way it feels on my lips. So pharmacy, you've ruined all of the lip balms for me. Um, meh, meh, meh. A really nice surprise is this little guy, and this is a uh, product from Evelyn Iona, and this is her natural and organic concealer, it's called Fresh, and this is, is the color Fresh, is that what it is? I think it says 303 on the bottom, that's really hard to read. Anyway, so when I first got this in, I was really upset because I picked the concealer for my skin type and skin color and all that kind of stuff. So I expected a pale light concealer. And when I got it, I got this, which is like almost like a peach color. So when I got that concealer, I was like, another concealer that's not going to work for me. I was tired, I was grumpy, I was like, you've got to be kidding me, this is ridiculous. But it's amazing. I'm going to insert a picture for you guys. Um, I put it on. I just kind of just tap my finger in lightly. I pat it on with my fingers. Kind of pack it on, pat it in. And it just melts kind of into the background. Like it just melts into your skin. It matches my skin tone almost perfectly. And it just kind of like, it doesn't highlight anything. But it totally covers my under eye darkness and redness like it just cancels out those other colors and just melts into your skin tone so that way it just matches perfectly so you don't see any difference and I could not get over how well that worked um definitely not a highlighter but if you have under eye baggage discoloration that you want to cover up this is definitely a great product for you to try out this I got from birchbox.ca um, and that's the first time I've ever heard of this brand so I'm not really sure where else you can get it um, but definitely worth checking out if you have a hard time covering up some of your under eye issues. Um, the blush I've been reaching for all this week is this guy and this is Peachy Keen from e.l.f. and I'm not going to open it up for you because if you can see in the window of it I just dropped it and broke the whole corner. So I'm going to have to try and fix it. But if I open it, I feel like I'm going to break it more. Um, but it's funny because when I bought, I bought three shades of blush from e.l.f. when I did my big e.l.f. haul. And this was the one I thought I'd reach for the least. And this is the one I definitely, out of all of them, reach for the most. It just has a really nice, natural, healthy glow to it. And it just kind of, kind of goes with everything. So awesome. I've been reaching for it all week. That's kind of like my comfort go-to blush. Um, an item that I recently got as well is from Physicians Formula. I originally got this because I thought it was going to be like a highlighter. Um, it is not. It is, but what it is really nice for is just to kind of give you a really nice, healthy, all over. It's kind of somewhere in between a finishing powder, a highlighter, and a bronzer. So what I like to do is take my big fluffy powder brush and just kind of go in the entire area where you would do your bronzer, your blush, and your highlight. I just kind of like to warm up that area and it just gives me a really healthy look. And you could even get away with just doing this and not a blush if you wanted. So I kind of do that. I go around my chin area, around the contour of my face, just to really warm up my face because I, I do get quite washed out in the winter time. Um, so just to warm me up a little bit. Um, and it wears well, doesn't irritate my skin, and it just gives you that healthy kind of sheen, glow, complexion. An eyeshadow that I'm really blown away by is from Real Colors, and it's their Everlasting Lawnwear Eyeshadow. This is in the color Plum and Get It. I got this from Sally Beauty Supply, and um, at first I wasn't sure how I felt about this, but when it says everlasting, holy man, like I uh, wore this on Saturday, so I put this on at 5 in the morning before I went to work, and um, it lasted my entire shift, my drive, my whatever, 
Then I went for a birthday dinner for one of my friends after that. It lasted throughout that whole thing. And then even when I was taking off my makeup at the end of the night, like so I had it on from 5 a.m. to somewhere between 10 and 11 p.m. It was still there fully pigmented and everything. So I could not believe it. Uh, this puppy lasts. So if you're looking for a really good matte eyeshadow that will not leave and will last all day, definitely check them out. Um, I'm not sure if they're exclusively, exclusively sold at Sally Booty Supply, um, but that is where I found them. And they do have quite a range of the singles, um, the singles matte eyeshadows. Another eyeshadow that lasts all day that I've been really impressed with is the um, Impress Me One and Done Shadow Stick from LLC, uh, the collaboration with Tati, the Glam Life Guru. And this bad boy I love because, you know, you sleep in a little bit late, you don't have time to do a full face, you slap this on all over your lid, you kind of blend it out in your crease a little bit, you even can do use it underneath your, your lower lash line. It lasts all day, it doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't bleed into anything else. The color stays consistent and you look exactly the way you looked when you first put it on. Um, so I know that these aren't permanent colors, so it makes me kind of want to buy a whole bunch of these and hoard them. <laughs> the mascara I've been reaching for all week is a mascara I actually used in my last two videos, my last two Get Ready With Me videos. And this is the um, Lancome Excessive Black Hypnostrama Mas Volumizing Mascara. This is probably one of the first higher end, because I think this was about a $30, $30 Canadian mascara. So this is probably the first higher end mascara, um, like so not drugstore price, that I've seriously been like, I think I need to repurchase you. I got this as a sample from, I think from Sephora. Yeah, I think it was from Sephora. And I was like, oh, it's probably just gonna be like another one of those. Those where I'm like, meh. But I absolutely love the way this looks. One coat and you've got really nice voluminous natural looking lashes. Two coats and you've got full, bold, drama dramatic, dramatic, dramatic um, lashes. And it wears well. It lasts me through my entire work day. Um, <clears throat> I mean, by the end of like the 14 or 16, whatever hours it is that I expect my mascara to last, uh, it does start to smudge a little bit. But as far as a regular work day, it lasts all day and um, really like opens up your eyes and gives you some nice dramatic volume. So definitely a worthwhile splurge. Um, I've got one more must have. Um, and this was a surprise for me. This was another sample I got. This is um, Stella by Stella McCartney. And this is her Eau de Perfume. Um, I didn't think I was going to like this because this is a rose scent. But I put it on one day just to try it out. And my husband's like, what are you wearing? That's so nice. And then ever since, I've been like all about it. So I'm kind of sad because I'm, I'm like, like, there's not much left. And then I only have one miss this week, and I was really disappointed with this because I was super excited, and I heard lots of good things, and then it was just kind of like, meh, for me, and that's by a uh, product by L'Oreal, and this is one of their new Color Riche eyeshadows, and I got the Color Grand Bleu, um, Color 211, and I mean, if you look at it, look at that color, it's stunning, and you would think that it would just, like, all the reviews I got... Um, a Canadian, this range is about the $8 range at the drugstore, so it is a higher end single shadow for sure at the drugstore, um, but I heard such great things about it, so I was like, oh, I have to try it, um, and it just, like, for me, it didn't blend well, it didn't last a long time, like, it started fading off, um, the color started fading on me, I want to say within a couple of hours, so for me, this was a big disappointment, I was, like, super excited thinking I was going to have to, like, hold myself back from going and buying the entire collection, but it's just kind of, like, Meh. Like I've, I don't know. I've tried better drugstore mask or I've tried better drugstore eyeshadows for sure. So that is it for my first Monday must haves and misses. If you like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you're in the know for all my new videos. And uh, if you have any suggestions, recommendations, or comments, please do so down below in the comments section. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, and any suggestions for my next hair color, let me know down below. And, um, thank you so much for, 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.